गुड इवनिंग गाइज एंड वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू ब्लॉग It is evening today because I spent the morning completely in. I was a little tired, a little under the weather, and I just didn't feel like going out. But the other two ladies went out without me, and I got to sleep, which was nice. But then I heard the stories of everywhere they went, and I got a little bit jealous. Like it was the same places that we've been before. They didn't go to a new place, but still, they brought me food though, so that was nice. Now we're just waiting for our Uber to come. We are going to be checking out Asiatic, which is one of many night markets in Bangkok. This one is like relatively close. It's just about three kilometers away. So we said we have to go this time. We are actually taking the long route now because we're taking an Uber to the boat pier, and they have like I think pretty much a free shuttle boat running from there. Just because we want to get the boat side experience, but. When we are coming back, uh, like later tonight, we'll probably just take an Uber and directly come back here. We won't go through the river, but now we were like, let's do the river one way at least and see what it's like. So every single cat that I see here, I must chase it. I must touch it, and I also must vlog it. I think I vlogged almost every cat that I've seen. On our first night here in Chinatown, one cat hit me. He was just a very sassy cat. I did not let that deter me too much. But mostly we met really friendly oh ones. While we're on the subject of cats, though, the friendliest cats ever that we met on this entire trip were at the flower market that we went to yesterday. Like you would have seen that in the previous vlog, there were so many of them. Uh, they looked relatively like happy, though they were not house cats. They were in the market. They were just like well fed, chilling out, just doing their own thing, and they were very receptive to being touched. Yes, I felt blessed. slightly better boat but yeah still got scam because a free boat runs and we paid Also in here, 
all of the food is super overpriced compared to the rest of Bangkok over here. The restaurants also don't look that great and the food's exorbitant and this also was a little bit extra pricey but the mix looked good and I wanted to get something in my stomach before we go on the ferry's wheel. <laughs> all of the vlogs and pictures of this ferry's wheel behind me it's one of the most recognizable parts of Asiatic market but I did not imagine how big it would be I'm not good with telling you guys like how many feet tall this is but this is really one of the larger ferry's wheels I've seen in my life most of the ones in India are much smaller and yeah it is a little expensive also Gondola? Cabin? Yeah, gondolas are those boats. No, but then they call these also sometimes something like this. I'm not sure. It's just very nice. It's shut, unlike the ones in Bombay, which are usually open. There's an air conditioner and there are safety features. You can turn the lights on and off, and it feels very plush. Can you please turn it off, Priyanka? Yeah. The light. This is the one, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. shopping here and there and we were just about to leave when we turned and we saw this big ass butrium behind us but I've already done my beauty shopping so I just picked up one thing on Priyanka's recommendation you'll see it in the hall we're pooped we're so tired 